So the aim of this video today is to price the American put by using three different binomial tree methods. The first method is the Cox Ross Rimstein tree. The second one is the Jarrow Wood Risk Control tree, and the third one is the Chain tree. Then we are going to see how to export those functions from Excel, uh, from C Sharp to Excel by using the program XLW, and finally we will see how to debug C Sharp function in Excel. So first of all, you have to download three different software which are totally free. The first one is the Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express and the Microsoft Visual C++ Express and you have also to download XLW 5 times. So we're going to launch XLW. Yes. Choose Visual C Sharp 2010 and click next. We're going to rename pricing and click to install. Okay, so here yeah, just going to rename by pricing here and also in the ending directory here pricing. Okay, so now we're going to launch this C sharp. Okay, so when you are in the shape sharp function, it's where you have to implement uh, your function. So for I'm going to paste my own code. Okay, so just before we're going to see our our first function, let's uh, let a little course on the binomial tree. So what is a risk natural binomial tree? First of all, it's composed by node specified by three different things. First of all, the probability of an up move P, the multiplier on the stock price for an up move U, and for down move D, you have here the formula for the probability P, and delta T, which is the number of priors, which T is the majority. I'm going also to use in our function the continuously compounding growth free rate R the stock price ST and the volatility ok so let's go back to our first function which is true pressure which calculates the price of an option by using the three different binomial true method which are Cox function method, Jarrow rule root natural and chain so for you to choose the method then you choose the value that you want to return if you want to return the spots of the option, the data of the option or the stock of the option. You just run a call or put option, an American and a European option. You put the stock price, the stock stock price, the rate R, the volatility V, the maturity T and the number of variant N. Okay, so if you choose the Cox Forge Milton method you're going to use those formula here, UN and DN, implemented just right here. Okay. So if you choose the Jarrow Road Return Troll Tree, you're going to use this formula here, UN and DN, just right here, and also NU here. And if you choose the Chain Tree, going to use those formula here UN and DN implemented just right here and RN and here then you have to calculate the spot with this formula and after you have to calculate the stock so if you choose an American option you use this formula here yeah. and if you have a new plan option you can create the price with this formula here yeah. and in both of these case you calculate the delta with this formula and then you return the stock if you choose to return the stock the spot or the delta so now we have finished with our function tree pricer which creates 
the price of an option by using the three different binomial tree method. Second function which implemented the black shore model. Let's see here. We have to choose between the call option or put option. So you have to put the stock price, initial stock price, the strike price, the maturity, the continuity compounding risk free rate R, and the rate T V. You're going to use those here with D1, implemented just right here, and D2, implemented just right here and if you choose type call option call you're going to use this one here if you choose put you're going to use this one here which are just here okay so now we have finished with our two function now we are going to see how to use those function in excel and export them too so we're going to execute our program there will be an error message you send one you say okay you go back to the file and you go to debug and this file pricing dot excel so open you open a new spreadsheet you apply the DLL and if for example you want to use one of our function such a function you go here you select proxy and you have so if you want to shoot this is test black hole you type the call, call option 20 spots 20 for the stretch maturity 100 0, 0, 0, 5, and 0, 0, 6 and you say okay so we're going to we have so it works. So now I'm going to load a prepared spreadsheet. Okay, so I apply also the DLL. In this one, I can use this one if I, I have made a, a button. So if I have pricing, I have uh, here and I can erase it. Okay. And in spreadsheet, I price the uh, European call with black shore here yeah, and also CR, GR, and Tian. And we see that the three binomial tree method converts to black shore. And here I price an American put by using the three, three binomial tree method CR. Road and Tian, and we see also a uh, convergence. So now we are finished uh, with uh, the how to see how to export C sharp function from C sharp to Excel, and now we're going to see how to use the debug uh, of C sharp in Excel. So, first of all, we are going to close all the Excel file. We are going also to close the C sharp file. We go back and now we go to add in and we create a new file, a text file called .net as proj the text and we are going to paste. Text. So we say this text and we paste it. This simple text and you save and you close. And now we are going to change this extension to dot user. So we say yes. And now you launch this social program here. So you are in this program, so it's the same social program that the last one. But when we are going to execute this one, uh, it will open uh, automatically and directly uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet. So let's execute this program. It's 
so so it launch directly at we just apply the, the, the DLL now if you want to use one of our C sharp formula you just go for example the normal low for zero five so okay and now if I go back to the C sharp program and I put a breakpoint in the normal low function like here just here and I go back to Excel and I re re execute there we go automatically in the button here I can move on debug the star and I put F5 so you can move and you can also put F5 Execute here yeah. and go back and exit. So it's so now it's the end of this video. Now you know how to implement Coxor, Rubinstein, Jaro, Rood, Restore, and Chan in C sharp. You know how to export the function from C sharp to Excel, and you also know how to debug C sharp function in Excel. So if you have any, any question, feel free to send me. Amen. Thank you.